Good morning, my brothers and sisters, to this morning prayer. Um, let, let us pray for, for our country. Let us pray for the world. Um, we're going through really harsh times. So let us not forget that God is there and that we have to be on our knees um, because what we're going through is not easy. So thank you again for joining me and let's get let's get started. <clears throat> God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. Alone and rejected, his agony begins. He accepts the chalice of dying for my sins. O oh Jesus, O oh Jesus, will you let me stay? Share a sip from your cup, watch with you and pray. Betrayed and abandoned, dragged into a hole. Though scourged by Roman soldiers, or sins hurt you most of all. O oh Jesus, O oh Jesus, defended by so few, so much blood from your wounds, how can I comfort you? You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. The crown of the thorns is forced upon your head. I turn to face the guilty, I see my sins instead. O oh Jesus, O oh Jesus, in your suffering, in your tears, in your blood, you stand as Christ the King. Embracing your cross, you start towards Calvary. Crushed by so much evil, you turn to look at me. O oh Jesus, O oh Jesus, did I hear you call, asking me to stay by you? to help you if you fall. You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. Raised on the hilltop, it seems though all has failed. For our salvation, Jesus, for us you were nailed. O oh Jesus, O oh Jesus, I have come to stay. As you die upon your cross, trembling, you say, love me. Why don't you love me? Please love me. Love me, I call out. Why don't you love me? I reach out. Please love me. Oh, how I long for your love. Love me, I call out. Why don't you love me? I reach out these hands to you. Please love me. Oh, how I long for your love. Love me, I call out. Why don't you love me? I reach out these hands to you. Please love me. Oh, how I long for your love. You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. You are my Lord and my God, and I love you. Awake, lyre and harp. With praise, let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge. Till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to you, God the Most High. To you who have always been my help, may you send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. O God, send your truth and your love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. 
They laid a snare for my steps. My soul has bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will take the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake! Light and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as shepherds his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob, he shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shout, shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion, they shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen, they themselves shall be like watered gardens, never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God, in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling sized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands and the defending wall of the New Jerusalem. 
made this holy city built of living stones shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. We see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, and through God's gracious will, he might taste death for the sake of all men. Indeed, it was fearing that when bringing many sons to glory, God, for whom and through whom all things exist, should make their leader in the work of salvation perfect through suffering. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me within, with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Jesus said to the chief priests and the crowds of the Jews, Whoever comes from God hears the word of God. You will not listen because you do not come from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship, with, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus said to the chief priests and the crowds of the Jews, Whoever comes from God hears the word of God. You will not listen, because you do not come from God. Christ our Lord came among us as the light of the world, that we might walk in his light and not in the darkness of death. Let us praise him and cry out to him. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. God of mercy, help us today to grow in your likeness, that we who sin in Adam may rise again in Christ. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Let your word be a lamp to guide us that we may live the truth and grow always in your love. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Teach us to be faithful in seeking the common good for your sake, that your light may shine on the whole human family by means of your church. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Touch our hearts to seek your friendship more and more, and to make amends for our sins against your wisdom and goodness. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Be near. O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, 
that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Okay, I guess that's it for this morning. Thank you again for joining us. And just remember, uh, any, at any moment during the day, you can still think of God and say a little prayer for your intentions, the intentions of the church and the intentions of our world. So things change. Okay, thank you all again and have a nice day.